Notorious in the motion pictures. Pimping a whole lot and talking a whole lot of shit. I used to tell him if you crave satisfaction, here's the place you wanna find good action. You know, I used to have them motherfuckers lying the street for blocks. Right now, you're gonna see some of the baddest killers of all time. You remember that badass box of dogs? Sweet Jack, bad ass dog. Sam. Dr. Jack and Mr. Hyde. Brothers and sisters, I want you to get ready. And check it out. Back your grips. I grab your wicked mind. You shall be black man. Yeah. <laughs> 
that ran inside my bed of little only an imbecile on this street. Mr. Hyde. 
Ciao, 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 il mio ciao, 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 ciao,
if I ever heard you sound so much as a car clock. I'm coming down on you so hard. Pamela Duff, the soul sister of Anthony James Bond, and the most exciting new star in years. Six feet two of dynamite, and it's all stacked. I told you where, and I told you when, and I told you how to get this! We are Patrick Jones. She is sticking her nose in my business, sir! And up against her is the arch enemy, the female successor to Goldfink, two-time Academy Award winner Shelley Winters as Mommy. <laughs> Take care of Cleopatra Jones. Cleopatra Jones, starring Tamara Duffin, co-starring Bernie Casey, Brenda Sykes, Esther Rowe, and Shelley Winters as Tommy. I'm
Captain Cheese Scores. Honey, Ivory, and Jean, they turn them loose. These two got soul they can't control. Back to back, they face death. When their blood gets hot, you're on the spot. Spurting disaster, flirting with fate, dancing with death. Three smitten pairs, roaring rampage of revenge. Put them into a blazing frenzy of violence. A raging ride through hell. Olympic contenders, bloody defenders. From the first burst to the last slash. These caliber kittens, spitting death as they paw their way to freedom. Warm hands, cold triggers, blazing death. They're women, they're warm, they're wildcats. Ebony, I can dig. Rapid fire frenzy erupting at a 45 caliber climax. Crashing fist of fury, struck by vipers of vengeance. Young lady went to bed with her boyfriend, baby, and he fucked and fucked and fucked and fucked and fucked. You know he had done a job. She backed up off the pussy and looked at it and said, Bitch, is the dick good? And he says, No, motherfucker, your dick ain't no goddamn good. She said, Bitch, please, I can fuck this room with my dick. She says, Motherfucker, it's got too many knots in it. He said, bitch, what the fuck you talking about? It's got too many knots in it. She says, motherfucker, it's not big enough, not long enough, and not hard enough. <laughs> Enter in Dragon Kelly, the troublesome art as Black Belt Jones. Oh, 
know the black dude. Is it a personal touch on everything they handle? Yes, indeed, you are the top of girls I dream about. Did you see those bad guy wake up here? All of y'all ought to be locked up. Bring my lead. I may be a little old, but I sure ain't cold. And you right here, honey, how do you feel for all of us with you? You know, I can remember a little girl just like you when I was going to school. The teacher said, Sally, I want you to spell today. You know what I want you to spell? She said, Tia. Sally said, honey, I can't spell them old hard words like you do. So she jumped up from the board and said, P, P, P. She said, get out, sit down. You're going to spell P and P all day. No one can look like you was named Judy. Judy said, teacher, I'll spell it. I can't spell Peter. P-E-T-E-R. Peter, Peter, Peter. Honey said, don't come too long and hard for me. And that little boy in the class named Hendricks. He said, Judy, the day I went to spell Mississippi. Judy said, teacher, you ain't going to tell me to Mississippi, but I'll try. He stood up and tried to spell me. He was Emma come up first. And then I come. Esther come a twice more. And I come again. Esther come a twice more. And I too came. And I come again. Let's go, Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. Big one. This is a chance. And I'm going to take it. Now. Before I have to kill somebody. Before somebody ices me. What's the 
Amen. We thank you, Lord.
with a wonderful woman with the story. Well, actually, two wonderful women and a wonderful kid. We climb the ladder of the Then,
you're given a job, you get it done. Now what the hell is it getting done? Fuck the man!
Listen, I want you to be there in Ohio, you know, and they said, they were like, we want you to go out and visit the children in the children's ward. When I got there, you know what was happening? There was two little babies in the Caribbean camp. A little boy baby and a little girl baby. All at once, I heard this little girl child start screaming in my name. Wait! Wait! Little boy baby looked at her and said, shut up and roll over. You're laying on your side for fire.
hearts and live in reaches around the globe. Here you can buy anything, or anybody, any scene you can name, and some that have no name. We love Jimmy and Jay. And at the very top of this pyramid of blood and dirt and sin and gold, the most evil woman in the world, the Empress of Crime. It makes no difference to me how you die. To prevent you from running. But now she's let her match and more in six feet two of dynamite. And I may know of the other half before I'm through. Now look, you're a representative of the United States government. You just don't do things that way. Stanley, somebody's trying pretty hard to kill this black lady. But you can bet I'm going to find out. Let's get the others together and have a proper look around the place without so many eyes on it. Please come here. What is it? You said, not your mother? What about the mother alive? Yes, but she has to a very good wonder. Should we do this, girl? That's your turn, man. Yeah. We messed up. Nightmare City. Ah, oh, my pigeon. Looks like you're a plan for a very after all. You call it today? I do indeed. Compared with what's coming, this is a day. <laughs> Now clear why I'm warning you. If you point that thing at me one more time, I'm gonna make you eat it. Single male and all.
is where it all began. The slave caves of Ghana. Jolly, the story of a black cowboy who took the 
whole West on fire and abide its people from the white man's general This is when I be so good, baby, you know what? This is about old Big Dick Sam. Big Dick Sam had a dick hung down to his knees and he never could find the woman with the fat guy. Somebody told him about old Big Pussy Leo. Big Dick Sam said, Big Pussy Leo, I heard about you, but I'm going to knock the line out of your pussy. Big Dick Sam got on the plane and rolled around in it. And the time was fine. This pussy little said, Sam, I don't feel a goddamn thing. You ain't doing shit. So this pussy little said, Big Dick Sam, you might as well just crawl on the team. Big Dick Sam crawled up in his pussy and rolled around about a half hour. And Big Pussy Lynn said, You motherfucker, get out of here. I don't feel a goddamn thing. Big Dick Sam got out the pussy and started to walk out the door and he went back in and said, Big Pussy Lil, I lost my way up in that when I go back up in that fire pussy. <laughs> Big Dick Sam would crawl back up in the pussy and roll it around about a half hour. He drove out of it. Big Pussy Lil, Big Pussy Lil said, Big Dick Sam, did you find your way up? He said, bitch, how the fuck you think I can find the rain up there? And there's a motherfucker up there done lost a Mack truck and can't find it. That's him. Well, we had no gay weed, but I went in there.
play coy with me too, so you don't have anything I'd be interested in at Women were more than all women. I told you I was going to put up and kind of pull that shit on me.
was talking about what they died from a Jewish fellow and a soul brother and a Chinaman. And the Jewish fellow looked up at Simon and said, you know what I died from when I was on the earth? I died from that terrible disease that we called pneumonia. And the Chinaman said, you know, I died from that infectious cancer. The soul brother was laying over in the corner sneezing. They said, soul brother, wake up, wake up, wake up. What did you die from when you was on earth? <laughs> the soul brother said, I died from Cena. Hey, this soul brother looked at I was on earth for 75 years, and I ain't never heard of no disease called Cena. What is Cena? So he goes, well, look here. I was caught with a man's wife, and that sucker, Venus. Get the hell out of here! Where should I know? Venus. You wouldn't know the truth if it walked up and stitched you in the face. The Dream Baby, the best selling novel by Iceberg Slim. Hottest black writer in the world today. The real best story of the ghetto. It's bras, it's dudes, and high rollers like Blue Howard, the slickest kind man of them all. Tonight, I'm thinking to the fuckers, God bless their beauty little heart. Because without them, where would our trust be? Dream Baby. I tell beautiful lies to my money, Creo. His white skin gives us a slick edge. With the black mark, he catches a hump. Five dollars in cash, you bring ninety five. Put in cash. Cash on the table, that's be your projection. Now for five thousand dollars. What for? So I'm gonna go to the phone booth and call Nino and tell him I can be your man. Thank you. 
Ivan Jasper. David Brown. Melvin Williams. Dalton Stowell. Dolomite and Matthew Ellis. Some of the other great teams of the 70s. I was a Falcons fan. I was great. That's why I am great. And I can remember people who survived the space age to see my age and I stand out there and Joe Dalton twirling with the ladies. I can remember my little days. We used to play with little white girls. You know what he used to say to us? Well, these old days, we play like pirates. But I want to play a tougher game. So he said, well, John, what can we play? He said, let's play role. He said, how you play for the jobs? He said, I'm going to tell you what you do. You lay down and be the role and let these black politics. So I know y'all enjoy these trailers. And we didn't enjoy it. Let's tell them our damn lies. And furthermore, I'm going to say one more thing. When you go tell me your dignity is going, I'm going to choose to get a chest pain the rest of your life. And I'll get out of here.
simply Sam Spade. In 1971, Detective John Shaft was as cool as they come, the hottest black star on the big screen. He's always been a positive role model for me. In three movies and a television series, John Shaft was the law. Taking care of the bad guys one way. Drop the guns and freeze. When this baby starts kicking, it won't stop, so nobody get cute. And taking care of the good guys another. Still something to eat, okay? Hey, thanks, sister. And you would deal with him, you had to deal with him on his terms. And he wouldn't accept anything less. I give him 15 bucks an hour. Plus his head. And no questions asked about how I spent it. I'm obviously very proud of the character. Proud of having done it. And would more than likely do it tomorrow morning if, if we were given the right situation. With his strong sexual upbeat image, Richard Roundtree would only make just one change in Shaft's persona for the 90s. It would be much more mellow. I mean, the fisticuff stuff would be kind of passe. And using his head more. TNT is bringing you the coolest guy we know, Shaft. Nobody plays Shaft like TNT. Nobody. Shaft in Africa, coming next on TNT Classic Movies.